Hi everyone, it's Matt from Snake House Exotics. Um, we've got the clutch uh, that I showed you on a previous video. In fact, I think it was the last video that I did. Uh, a six egg clutch um, that had about five days to go. Well, they started to pip. One of the eggs pipped this morning, so I've started to cut them. Um, the reason that I cut the eggs uh, is, is just to ensure that the babies get out safely. Uh, babies can die in the egg. Um, they can drown in the eggs and so on. It's, it just gives them a helping hand. There's no no problems cutting eggs at all. Uh, they The babies do very well. Uh, now the pairing with this clutch was a spider uh, and also a pastel, a nerdline lemon pastel, to a normal female that's 50% het pied. Um, I've cut two eggs. Uh, this egg here had pipped. Looking in there That's a normal snake in there. Looking in there, that's a pastel. That's a very bright snake compared to that one. So, both alive, both doing well. And uh, once they once they uh, they get their heads out of the hole of the slip, what they'll do is they'll start taking uh, oxygen in, and they'll consume their yolk sac then very quickly. All I do when I cut eggs is I just make a little crease I make the tiniest little nick like that in the egg just like that and what I'm trying to do is cut the shell the outer skin of the egg, the outer wall and not cut the membrane inside the egg okay so I run the point of the scissors up flush with the actual shell. Looks like another pastel. And just make a slit like that. And then inside it's a little what it looks like. Yep, a little pastel. So there's one normal, two pastels so far. Um, all alive. Yep. It's a bit of a messy job. So we just pinch the top of the egg. It's quite a bit of white in this one. Um, just make a little snip. Don't worry if you see a little bit of blood, it's just uh, very fine blood vessels inside the egg and sometimes you do catch them but what I'm trying to do is not, not to cut any blood vessels, I'm just trying to cut the outer membrane so I want minimum amount of blood. Okay, that looks like a, yep yeah, that's a normal. Two for two at the moment, two pastels, two normals. And it is of course possible that the spider has also fathered a baby or two in the clutch, so it wouldn't be shocking if there was a spider in this clutch. So again we just snip the egg. Make a little window. In fact, you can see the blood vessel just there, look, on the egg. See that? There's another pastel. Last egg. Let's hope it's a pastel. And these eggs today are 57 days into incubation, so more than ready. They normally start pipping about 55, 60 days and uh, they hadn't pipped this morning first thing. It's lunchtime now and one of the eggs has pipped. Okay I think that's another, yep, it's another pastel. 
There you see the light head. Right there, the pastel. You'd be able to if I had it in shot. It's the top of the head there for the pastel. So that's brilliant. There's four pastels. Is that right? Yeah, four pastels and two normals. So we beat the odds on the clutch. Usually it would be 50-50, as the odd gods would predict. So um, we've got four lemon pastels and we've got two normal snakes. And we'll leave them like this, put them back in the incubator, put the top back on, and uh, they'll emerge. Over the next two or three days they'll start to come out and, uh, and start to hatch. But as I say, once they, once they draw their first breath, they really start taking in the yolk sac, really start consuming that, and uh, really get rid of that yolk sac quite quickly, and then they'll hatch out, and then we'll do a, we'll do a video of uh, setting them up in, in the new hatchling rack, and we'll take a look at that. Uh, so thanks for joining me today, and we'll see you all again soon. Take care, bye-bye.